please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already click the subscribe button then click the bell and then click all every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you okay so this video shows you how to download and install the fire tv app on your apple device now if you've got an android device see my video on how to install it on an android device there should be a link to it up in the top right hand corner right now so first of all all you need to do is open the app store now if you can't find the app store on your screen just swipe down and just type app store and after a little while you will see there there you go app store appear just there just tap on it once the app store is loaded go to search in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and then tap in where it says games app stories and more and then just type in there fire space tv and then tap the search box there which is just the blue button and then you should see this here this orange icon just there with fire tv in it it should say amazon fire tv just tap on get or the cloud if you've already had it before and it will start to download and install now this bit might take a bit of time it really just depends on the speed of your internet connection it also depends on the speed of your iphone or ipad but there you go it's now installed out now i must just say before we open it you need to be connected to wi-fi and you need to be connected to the same wi-fi network that your fire tv sticks is connected to if it's not connected to the same wi-fi network as your fire tv stick this won't work okay so once you've done that tap open and it says here fire tv would like to use bluetooth okay i'm going to let it use bluetooth so i'm just going to say allow and it says here to use fire tv app basic functionality you must allow local network access this is only used to set up and communicate with fire tv devices on your local network so i'm going to tap sure there and then here we go we're going to tap okay on this here so it then says stay connected turn on notifications to get fire tv app announcements special offers recommendations and more you can update your notification choices at any time in the app settings well i'm going to say not now to that because i don't want things popping up on my ipad all the time so there you go so we should see now there you go there's my fire tv chris's fire tv i'm just going to tap that and it's going to ask us for a number now now that number's come up on the screen on the fire tv stick so i'm just going to type the number in there and there we go i now get a remote control come up on the screen and what i can do is i can use the screen of my iphone or ipad as a remote control so i've got the left right up down buttons there i've got the middle button just there which is the select button and i can also tap on the keyboard there up in the top right hand corner and search for for whatever i like much easier than using the uh, the Fire TV stick remote to type things. And then I can just select BBC iPlayer from there, press the middle button, and there we go, it comes up. I've also got other buttons here, like I've got the back button, the home button, the hamburger menu, the fast forward and the rewind button, and also the play pause button there. I've got settings up there in the top right hand corner, so Fire TV settings, sleep, app remote settings so if i tap fire tv settings it will take us to the settings on the fire tv stick if i tap on that there i've got the app remote settings there there's not really much on there but i can play around with that if i want to i can also use the voice function on there by tapping on the remote control and speaking to the uh, into the iphone or ipad which then sends the uh, details to the fire tv stick and i can then tap this there and that lists all of the apps that are on the fire tv stick there so there we go some of them are in the cloud some of them are actually installed so there you go a great little app there that can complement your fire tv stick it can also help get you out of a sticky situation if your remote control is broken or lost so there you go i hope this guide helps thanks very much for watching if you like this video don't forget hit that like button and if you haven't done so already hit the subscribe button and if you think your friends and colleagues might benefit from watching this video don't forget to share this video on your social media timelines thanks very much for watching you can follow me on twitter at cw tech that's at cw tech on twitter and don't forget to check out my other videos in my youtube channel just google chris wait youtube 
and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.